Meanwhile, a man named Simon came to Stark Tower, he asked Tony not to buy shares of his company since his company was on the collapse, but Tony did not change his mind and Simon threatened to stop him. At the same time, Thor and the Wasp Woman were chasing a criminal who was flying away from them on his invention, Thor decided not to play with him and just threw a hammer at him that shot down the villain's plane. While everyone was fighting, Captain America was at the Avengers base and met the director of the Fury Shield for the first time, he invited him to visit him, saying that he had something for the captain. Meanwhile, Simon was driving in the car and asked for help from his brother named Eric. Eric told where he was taking him, he said that in this place he could be given the power with which Simon would take revenge on Tony Stark. Simon began to prepare for the transformation. Meanwhile, Captain America and Agent Fury came to the barbershop, but not to get a haircut, but to go down to the secret laboratory, the barbershop was just a cover. In this laboratory, Nick Fury handed the captain his motorcycle, which he had not seen for many years. At the same time, the operation to transform Simon began, suddenly Thor burst into the laboratory with a wasp woman, but it was too late, Simon had already turned into a powerful and evil creature. Stark, meanwhile, was in his tower, when suddenly the building began to shake and Stark flew to the top to see what was going on, it was Simon who was taking revenge for the fact that Stark had taken his company that he had been building all his life. Stark announced a general gathering of the Avengers in order to stop Simon, Ant-Man had almost persuaded Simon to surrender, but Iron Man appeared and began to fight with him. Suddenly they noticed that something was wrong with Simon, he could not cope with such a powerful force, his own force began to destroy him and Iron Man lifted him to his tower to save him, but it was too late, Simon was killed by his own force. Tony Stark explained to the Avengers that he bought his company not to humiliate him, but to save him from bankruptcy, he wanted to continue working with Simon, but he died. The next day came and the whole Avengers team was reviewing the record of how the Black Panther saved the life of Captain America when he fought the villain Zemo, even the Jarvis system could not determine that the Black Panther had made his way to their castle. Suddenly, an alarm started in the Avengers building and the Avengers ran out into the street, a Black Panther was standing in front of them, he started fighting the Avengers for some reason, his suit was very high-tech since it was made of vibranium, the Avengers managed to grab him, but the Black Panther explained that he started a fight to make sure of their abilities, he, he took off his mask and under this mask was the Prince of Wakanda, his name was Chala, he came for help, his problem was that the king had changed in his country in Wakanda, but he had bad motives, there was a lot of vibranium in this country and he could use it for his bad ideas. The Avengers flew to Wakanda and began to prepare a plan, Iron Man was flying the plane very low and flying up to Wakanda, they were shot down and their plane crashed. Meanwhile, in Wakanda, the king was selling vibranium to people from Hydra and he was given information that a plane was shot down on their territory and at the same time the Avengers broke in and did not let Hydra take the vibranium, but there was something they could not prevent in any way, vibranium absorbed too much energy and an explosion was supposed to happen, Suddenly an explosion sounded and from vibranium formed a huge monster whose name was Sound. At the same time, the Black Panther was fighting with the King of Wakanda for who would become the new King of Wakanda, unlike the previous fights for the throne, this was a fair fight in which the Black Panther won, now he took the throne and avenged his father, but that was not all, the monster named Sound was not stopped yet Ant-Man figured out how to destroy him, it was necessary to destroy the converter on his chest, Iron Man did this and he succeeded, everything fell into place, the King of Wakanda Chala returned to the throne and the Avengers helped him in this. Black Panther asked to join the Avengers and was accepted, there were more and more Avengers. It's been a few days and night has come, all the Avengers were chasing some man, it was Hawkeye, they drove him into an alley and he had nowhere to run, but suddenly a plane flew up and directed a beam of light at the Avengers and Hawkeye was able to escape because the Avengers were blinded, it was a shield ship and they, they asked for help from the Avengers, the Avengers went after them and they flew to a prison called a cube, a radiation dome was formed around this prison, whoever got into. The dome zone turned into a monster, the man from the shield said that this dome would soon reach the city and all the people in this city would turn into monsters. They will need to get into this dome and discover the problem, for this the people from the shield have developed suits against radiation. The Avengers entered the dome and three monsters came out at them, and while the Avengers were fighting with them, the dome was getting bigger and bigger. Meanwhile, Black Widow was in Hydra's warehouse and was selling Hulk's blood, but Hawkeye broke in because he thought Black Widow was a traitor and that she was working for Hydra. The Avengers went into the cube and started looking for a problem, when suddenly a lot of villains jumped out at them and they began to scatter the Avengers around, but the Avengers quickly sorted them out and noticed that it was too easy, it turns out the villains did not want to defeat the Avengers, they wanted to damage their costumes, the Wasp Woman damaged the costume and now she it will also turn into a monster.
At the same time, Hawkeye fought the Black Widow and he won, but he decided not to surrender her to the shield, he would take her to the Avengers. While all the Avengers were fighting, the Black Panther got into the center of the dome and destroyed it, the dome was destroyed and all the monsters turned back into people. Behind all this evil was a villain named Leader, he created this dome, but in fact he just wanted to test this dome in small sizes in order to use it on a larger scale. A villain named Leader now launches this dome only in large size to Earth and the first city that suffered was Las Vegas the dome expanded very quickly and all the people who got into it turned into monsters. Compared to the previous dome, this dome expanded much faster. Almost all the Avengers have turned into monsters. Thor was immediately captured by the monsters because there were too many of them. Hawkeye decided to find the Hulk because he was a scientist and could figure out this situation, he flew away and left the Black Widow because she could interfere. Meanwhile, the Hulk was hiding in the mountains and the military hunted him because they thought he was a danger, Hawkeye came to the rescue and he destroyed all military equipment. Hawkeye explained to the Hulk that he didn't need a Hulk, but a banner that was inside the Hulk, the Hulk turned into a banner and they went to Banner's laboratory to study the dome and how to disable it. At the same time, Thor was taken to the villain leader and several villains tried to hold him, the leader said that his dome would cover half of the planet in 14 hours, by this time the Hulk and Hawkeye had already arrived, but for the Hulk there was a rival who looked like him, his name was Abomination. Hawkeye at this time fought with the Avengers who were under the influence of the dome and the villain leader, but he did not come empty-handed, he had arrows that were filled with an antidote. It was the end, the Hulk destroyed the dome and now all the monsters have turned back into people, and the villain leader was sent to prison. Now Hawkeye was also an Avenger. It was an ordinary sunny day in the city, a wasp woman was chasing a villain named Whirlwind, he demolished everything in his path as a result, she was able to lead him to a dead end at a construction site, suddenly the whirlwind turned into some kind of woman, it was a charmer, the wasp woman was surrounded and the villains together with the charmer took her hostage. Meanwhile, Tony Stark was collecting his costume in his tower, and suddenly a sorceress with her villains burst into him, he could not do anything because he was not in a suit and he was also kidnapped. All the Avengers began to be captured, only Thor and Ant-Man remained. Thor received a notification on his Avengers card that a general gathering had been announced, but when he arrived there, he was captured by the sorceress's army, Hawkeye and Black Panther were watching everything from the roof, they managed to get into this castle, but they were immediately captured and then they told that in fact they and they didn't want to free the Avengers, they wanted to distract attention so that Ant-Man got into the lab and created a special weapon that would help them. He freed the Avengers and now the forces were equal. The battle between evil and good began, the Charmer's team began to lose and the Charmer escaped, thereby betraying her team. A few days later, an Ant-Man and a Wasp woman flew to a military base that studied space threats, a woman and a man who watched the cosmos worked on it, she showed an image of space on which there was a strange flying object that moved faster than a comet or asteroid, it was supposed to fly past the satellite, but it turned around and shot down a satellite and after a few seconds this object had already fallen to the ground, they took a car and went to the crash site, they arrived at the crash site, but there was no one there, suddenly they started shooting at them from behind, he was very fast and invisible, it was some kind of space robot, after a while the robot left them in because he had another goal, he went to the laboratory where they studied space. He went into the laboratory and was about to destroy it, but the Ant-Man did not let him do it, then the robot electrocuted him and destroyed the laboratory anyway. It turns out there was a man on this base, but in fact he was not from this planet, his name was Marvel, he told a story that he lived on a planet where there were two clans who were constantly at war and one of the clans sent one of his robots to Earth, there was a mega bomb in this robot, if he sees danger for himself in this world, he will blow up the whole planet. The Avengers went to the place where the robot was, they will have to stop him. Marvel said in order to disable the bomb, it was necessary to disassemble the robot and disable the bomb but the robot was so high-tech that it was impossible to get close to it, even the Avengers could not cope with it. To defeat him, it was necessary to get into the robot's head, the wasp woman did it, she shrank to a small size and climbed through the gap into the head and turned off the robot. But there was another problem, the bomb was supposed to explode in 5 minutes, and Marvel could defuse it in 10 minutes. Then he took this bomb and flew into space, he flew into space and left the bomb where it would not harm anyone, since the bomb would explode soon, he also had to explode too, but Iron Man saved him and he remained alive.